Hello and welcome to episode 8 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about some wrestling. Yeah. Some WWE wrestling. So yep. It's not really wrestling, it's sports entertainment. Yes. Um, and very much so geared toward children. I don't know why, but the SummerSlam commercial just like screams little kids television. Well, the like the normally it's like geared it's like the biggest party of the summer. Right. And yeah. it's usually kind of seems the same way mm-hmm. for like most of the time. Um but yeah, it's usually how it goes because they do have to air the commercials like not I uh, guess they're pretty much just just during Raw, aren't they? Pretty much. I have no idea because I don't watch TV beyond that. No, certainly not no, USA. No. So this just talk, thing. I don't know. It just seemed like the way they were promoting it. It seemed more kid geared. Know. Maybe I, I guess. Know. I don't know. It, it doesn't it, matter. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Raw's still not very good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, hey, I mean, at least we had Brock Lesnar show up and tell us. Pretty much what Raw we all knew. Raw isn't very good. Yeah, I don't watch the show. Yep. I mean, you know, there you go. Brock, did you hear what he said? <laughs> Paul, I don't watch the show. Why would I watch the show? Oh, my God. So And there we go. So bad. So bad. There we go. That's uh, it. That's yeah. all you really need to know. Yeah, so they start with showing that Brock was indeed there, mm-hmm. or at least recorded somewhere with Paul Heyman. Um, and then Roman comes out, and he calls out Brock, basically. Um, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah, we're just chasing our tail here. Yeah, and then he does that thing where he says Big that, talk. well, yeah, he's going <laughs> to he's gonna send Brock back to the UFC as Roman's bitch, because that's what he likes to do. Yeah, now. what is with this bitch nonsense? It's just... <sighs> it's special occasions. But it's not good. Special occasions. Like, why couldn't Roman just be like, all right, I'm going to come out to the ring and wait for Brock. And brings out, like, a cooler of beer, a little sand chair, and some sand basketball. Sand chair? Well, you know, chair you bring to the beach. chair. There you go. Um, you know, have some basketball shorts on, some I, offensive t-shirt. I guess they could do that, but I, mean, I don't know how well, like, the fans would react to someone just sitting in the ring. I know they've done it before. Yeah. We're just sitting outside, chilling, even during matches. They've That'd done, be fine. Yeah, they, I think they've didn't done that. Probably, but yeah. that would work. Yeah, I think so, so. I'm just going to hang out. I'll watch the show from outside. The yeah, side. why not? Have them beat up people that go on the outside. Because like he didn't single call them out, right? He just said he wasn't going to do anything. Uh, I guess. Maybe he was indirectly calling him out yes or by not calling him out and saying he wasn't going to do anything yeah like you said yeah yeah. indirectly yeah Yeah. that's possible Mm -hmm. um Heyman comes out and uh he said brock will come out when he feels like it and if he feels like it uh so i guess that there's a chance that brock might not show up which i guess they're really hammering home this uh brock is like a bad guy he doesn't care about the universe yeah the wwe universe a very different way to go about it and you know probably their last ditch effort to get roman over well (laughs) there's truth to that because i guess they don't like the fact that people keep on cheering for brock despite the fact he's supposed to be the bad guy so it was interesting i think they had the highest ratings since the post money in the bank raw so it was what, a month and a half ago, almost two months. Uh huh. Um, and I guess the clip of Brock Lesnar attacking Paul Heyman had like over five million views. So uh, there's, there's. So yeah, there's some legitimacy yeah, to... to to Brock Lesnar. Mm. Uh, but then again, when was the last time he was on Raw? Probably before Mania, right? Was it before Mania or was he on the episode after Mania? I don't remember. Well, he could have been. I don't think so. But yeah, if he was, that remember. was the last time. Yeah. If not, definitely before. Um, so uh, yeah. we got some more Finn Balor and Baron Corbin. Yeah, I don't quite understand why this match happened again. They're nor... going to wrestle at SummerSlam, most likely. Yeah, and it hap- and it was like almost a half hour long. Which it's is, terrible. It, the match wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad, but... but it was doesn't really needed that amount of time. Especially didn't need a clean finish. Especially for a match that... No one cares about. I didn't want to see. Did you want to see it? It's not interesting. Because yeah. the story, A, is based off of nothing. And B, is just, like, kind of 
old now because we're going oh, on yeah. for oh my god did you watch the wtf moments for raw obviously yes the uh back and forth between Pachiti oh, and oh yeah. my god i was dying at that you're t- you're tall <laughs> let's wrestle, wrestle. <laughs> oh, shit anyway yeah um, we uh yeah. we actually saw ronda rousey on the defensive well yeah because uh she she technically cost Natalia the match against Alicia Fox, mm-hmm. and then she got mad and she then went after Alicia and Alexa. Alexa ran away like a little girl, like you expect her to. Um, but Ronda actually uh, gets taken out by the numbers game. Yeah, and Alicia Fox looks strong. I know. Yeah, it was a it was an interesting person to choose but mm. especially with the uh, what happened with the whole i guess there was a confrontation right between her and ronda's husband yeah pre-wrestlemania Al- yeah allegedly that yeah. happened yeah so that, that was interesting uh, it could just be a coincidence it's true there's only so many people on the roster yeah because and who ha- else would they have stuck in that spot well i was Dana gonna Brooke? say <laughs> between faces and the riot squad that's like everybody except for Alicia Fox, Mickey James, and Alexa. Anyway, right, right. So literally, she fair. was the option. Yeah, because Mickey was hurt, right? Yeah. So they say. So that that's what that was all about. Yeah. Um. But yeah, whatever. But that, yeah. No, so I was fine with that. Yeah, it wasn't bad. They announced that um, Ronda Rousey will be facing Alicia Fox next week mm-hmm. in her Ra- first Raw match. Yes, Ronda will have her first match. Yes. Um, and uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if that helped the ratings as well. Probably. She's definitely a draw. There's no doubt about that. Mm-hmm. So that that'll probably uh, that's probably what they were going for. Yeah. Um, this was probably the first show they were both advertised for, right? <laughs> Brock and Ronda. Yes. First show they were both at. Yeah. I wouldn't say they're both oh, advertised that's true, because, because there were several that... shows where Brock was mm-hmm. supposed to be there but didn't actually appear. You know, it, it's still in the back of my mind that they could both leave SummerSlam as champions. There's still a good possibility of it. They could. I don't think... And I think the amount of people that are assuming that Roman's going to win right. gets less and less every time this happens. <laughs> So. I guess that's true. Um, and Brock is being rumored for Raw the night after SummerSlam, at least in the local commercials for the Barclays. So, I mean, there's a possibility he wins the title and then gets cashed in on Monday night. Well, that's what I was going to say. I'm hoping that either he he retains and then Braun cashes in that Monday, mm-hmm. or he loses and when he shows up, he's just angry and takes it on on Roman. Yeah. So Braun is still champion, uh, oh. but Roman just gets his ass kicked. Mm. And then Brock leaves. I guess. Or Roman's champion Monday, Brock beats him up, and Braun cashes in there. Also a possibility. Yeah. Every scenario ends with Braun as champion and Pretty much. Brock leaving with Roman getting beaten up. Yeah. So And then it, we're going to play this game all over again. What, with Braun and Roman? Well, no, with them probably trying to get Roman over again. Um, I don't know. I feel like I don't think they'll care about doing that anymore because it's so tough to say. I I mean I don't care if if Roman won it clean and then that's how they did it. That that would be it, fine. At, I'm, at I'm, this point, it really doesn't matter care. how they do it Mm-mm. as long as the end result is with Brock not being around anymore. Because that's really the only thing I'm looking forward to. Now, I could care less who the Universal Champion mm-hmm. is as long as it's not Brock Lesnar. Yeah. So, hell, it could be uh, James Ellsworth. I don't care. It'd be funny. Because um, I'm sure they'll come up with some, something really stupid to do with Oh, that. yeah. Assuming he still worked for the company. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you, I don't, really? he was, you know he was on a day-to-day contract, though. So Okay, well, yeah, then, I don't it didn't really matter ever, anyway. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, the reality of Kevin Owens winning the briefcase, I think, higher than people are thinking. I think there's a possibility. Oh, you mean the chance of him winning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's definitely possible. I feel like it's got to be one of those, they're going to tease him winning because you're going to come up with some kind of brilliant yeah. mesh from mind scheme, and then Braun at the very end is going to get out of it and win. Yeah, because so. I don't see them having him go over Braun twice, two pay per views in a row. Yeah, I, yes. I mean, granted, he stood tall. Yeah, because he 
it's it's hard to say that Kevin Owens won the the cage match. Like technically, he did win. There's a W in that wins column, but even he, though wins and was, losses don't matter. He didn't feel like a winner. Oh yeah, that's about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it, like I said, as long as Lesnar's not champion, I could care less. It's true. Um, moving on to a different championship feud, we got uh, Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good match. It's true, but you know, it's kind of hard to assume otherwise and uh i just i can't see dolph ziggler going anywhere with the title post SummerSlam. i think there will be more people added to this match you mean it'll be like a triple threat maybe well i don't i, I think finn's who? out of it because originally yeah. i thought they were gonna do finn but it looks like him and corbin are gonna yeah is he gonna come out as the demon i mean that would be like a wasted uh no because he already won a match why would he do that? Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. If he'd lost the first match and he was, like, underdog, then maybe. Mm-hmm. But since he won, it really doesn't make any no sense. Point. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I think they're probably going to save the Demon for an actual title feud if he gets one. Yeah. Which is much more realistic if Brock is gone. Yeah. Yeah, although that makes possibilities which endless. Makes it could... no sense because I could buy Finn Balor beating Brock Lesnar. Yeah, why not? No, they can't. No. But I can. I'd be okay with that. Look, put McIntyre against him. That's just fine, too. what we all want. McIntyre against Brock? Yeah. That'd be great. He'd destroy him and be so much fun to watch. Because he's the only, like one of the few actual believable people who could yeah. like decimate Brock Lesnar. Well, Lashley could, too. Uh, Lashley's not as well. I guess physically imposing. He's just big. He doesn't really come off in as... In real a, life. I don't... But I don't see that. Well, he's... I know he he has just a very good yeah. MMA career. Not, I I know that, but yeah. it just doesn't he doesn't feel like that. All right, well they've done a shitty job of building him up, so yeah. that's so that that's fair. That, and that's all, all lies it needs. about him main eventing WrestleMania and all that stuff. Well, you know, because he's going to end up fighting Elias at SummerSlam most likely. Assuming they have matches, yes, that's yeah. what it looks like. Um, but yeah, yep, we got to see the revival versus Matt and Bray. That was uh, yeah, because the B happened. team come out and they are still overwhelmed by mm-hmm. their success. Um, and then Matt and Bray come out and say, "We're gonna, we're gonna delete you." Blah blah blah. Yep. And then the revivals come out. I was like, "What's with you freaks?" <laughs> I'm gonna show you what real tag team yep. wrestling's about. And they won. Mm-hmm. Um, Matt Hardy posted an interesting tweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does CM Punk mean? No. <laughs> He, he, like, thanked all his fans throughout his career and stuff like that, almost like it being a, like, he was going to retire. Oh. But probably has no legs, so. Yeah, that's strange. It, yeah, it was just odd. It kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did retire, just for the simple fact that his body is uh, falling guess. apart. It feels like that would be a strange way to go. Yeah. Because it's not like he got pinned. It was bright, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he took the shatter machine. Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I think so. So, anyway, not that it, not that that really has. No, it, it was just it kind of came out of left field. And it was just kind of random. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, let's see. So, uh, so the Mets game the other night. <laughs> sure. Well, then they lost twenty-five to four. They did. Yes. Wow. I think it was on actually the same night as Raw because there were people. That cover raw that were tweeting about how badly the Mets were losing. So, oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah. And then somebody joked about it. it's like, oh, Kurt Hawkins really does make sense as a Mets fan. They have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. Yep. Uh, let's see. Sasha Bailey. Sasha Bailey. Since they're mm-hmm. best friends this week, so mm-hmm. there's that. Now that just begs the question of: Is the trigger going to get pulled before SummerSlam or after SummerSlam? Post. They're going to keep it for Evolution now. That's 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 what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah it, it makes, makes sense. sense. Um, you oh, already have women's matches for the t- both titles. Yeah. I feel like there's gonna be another edit on SmackDown too. <laughs> I'm probably gonna add Oscar. Um, That'll be next week. Or you mean to the title match? Yeah, it'll be a fatal four way. Maybe, or they'll come up with some kind of way to get some of the All other right. women. Yeah, we'll talk about it when we get there. What to SmackDown? You mean? Yes. Well, I just meant in general they'll find another match to get. Oh, yeah. 
Possibly. Because I don't think Sasha and Bailey versus the Riot Squad is going to happen there. I would hope not. Um, but there's the potential for... There's going to be a lot of people left off this card. Yeah. Which is scary because there's yeah. going to be a lot of matches no matter what. Because mm-hmm. there was 11, I think, at Extreme Rules, Extreme Rules. Right? Or 12. Didn't they add an extra one? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and there's going to be more... At SummerSlam. On SummerSlam. What time is this thing going to start? Probably 6, 5... Uh, probably six. Yeah, because they've well, been extreme rules started what seven? Seven. Yeah. So that means that the summer yeah. probably started at six. Yeah, unless they have the pre-show at five and starts at six. But usually they have like two-hour pre-shows, I, don't they? I or is think that just they're mania? moving away from that? Yeah. Because last year I think they had it for all the big fours, but mm-hmm. they might move away from that because it's really stupid. It is. Um. Well, so. there's there's probably a handful of matches that will be, be able on to go there? on the pre-show. Yeah, that's true. Like Elias versus Bobby Lashley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like most of the matches actually don't really feel like they're main card matches, <laughs> nah. which is kind of bad. Um, earlier in the night, uh, Kurt Angle told Paul Heyman that if Brock doesn't show up, he's going to get fired, yep. meaning Paul Heyman, not Brock, yep. obviously. Um, and then throughout the course of the night, Paul Heyman tries to get Brock to go out. Brock refuses, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then that, well... I filled my obligation. I yeah. showed up. Yep. I'm here. Yep. So that leads us to the ending segment where uh, Kurt Angle comes out and uh, pretty much just demands that Brock mm-hmm. uh, show his face. Heyman comes out seeming like a defeated man, and he goes, I failed. But, but you shouldn't punish me because I tried. Mm-hmm. You should punish Brock the worst universal champion ever. Oh, Angle said that, and well, Heyman agreed. First, we have to go back and talk about Roman getting removed from the arena. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because, uh, I don't remember, what was he, just standing in the locker room, right? And Angle and Baron came up to him, and were going to escort him out with the police. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he punched Baron in the face, mm-hmm. because Baron was j- laughing at him. Yep. So, anyway... So Roman is out of the building, mm-hmm. cannot get involved at all. Um, so Heyman comes out, and then, uh, like we said, he said that Brock should be punished. And yeah, and Kurt said that he was the worst Universal Champion yes. multiple times. Yes. And then Paul Heyman agreed with him, mm. and that's when Brock came out, I think. Well, Angle fired. Oh, Heyman. right, right, yeah. He said, you're fired. And then that's when Lesnar came mm-hmm. out. So I guess Heyman isn't fired anymore whatever um he gets he gets in uh angle's face mm-hmm. he asks him if he has anything that he wants to say or whatever and uh then he hits angle with an f5 yep uh corbin runs away like a little girl uh, and it was a smart he, move and then he grabs uh paul Heyman and like squeezes his face for some reason and then uh that's pretty much it he let go Heyman stood tall why wouldn't you have roman come out I, the fans wanted it. We, I mean, we they, did hear we want Roman chance. We most they could have been did. we want Eric Rowan chance. They could have been we want Hogan chance. It was definitely we it want Roman. It could have been we want Strowman. Definitely we want Roman chance. There was definitely some chance. I will give you that. No, there, it was predominantly we want. But Roman then there chance. was the no we we don't. Yes, but ever. that's that's that doesn't count though. It's true. Because that's, that's like just, the let's go well, see Cena, Cena, Cena sucks, sucks right, thing. Because right, right. oh, yeah, it's yeah. a counter to a chance, which means. That it is, in fact, what they were saying. It's true. So, so sure. yeah. But, yeah, that's the big thing. I mean, during the 90s, when people wanted Stone Cold to come out, what they just say? Oh, he's not coming out, guys. See you later. Have a good night. Like, give the fans what they want. I, but WWE I, They weren't doesn't... expecting it, though. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Oh, shit. We screwed up this time. Yeah, they really should have had him come out. I'm not disagreeing with that. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, it would have just ended with Brock beating up Roman again. And well, no, what would have happened was... And then the Roman police would beating came, up Roman. No, the Roman would have came out, then the whole locker room would have come out, and they would have been separated. I guess so. I think they're pretty much just saving that spot for a couple of weeks down the line. What are we, three weeks away? Uh, two. Two, yeah. Yeah, two Sundays from now. So I'm thinking that that's probably why they didn't have him come out, because that's, uh, the, that's, the, that's the only trick they have up their sleeve, so they're just going to go with that. <sighs> stupid yeah, stupid wall with yeah. their inability to book yeah oh we 
didn't forget. We, we skipped a couple of things, but I didn't. We didn't know. talk about one of the most important things. What? The King of the Jobbers match. Bobby Roode versus Mojo Raleigh. Oh, is, didn't you say that's happening next week? Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, they got into it in the locker room. Mm-hmm. They were arguing. Mojo was yelling at all the jobbers. I think the Ascension was there. Mike Kanellis was, he was there. Yes. Zack Ryder was there. Mm-hmm. Who else was there? Or is that it? That might have been it. Tyler Breeze wasn't there. No, because he's in NXT again. Yeah, he did show up. Um, did the worm with uh, heavy machinery. That's awesome. <laughs> And then he, I guess he was just, I guess, running down the locker room mojo, that is. And then mm-hmm. that's when Bobby Roode piped it's up. Like, hold I on. Said, I'm the king around here. <laughs> I'm the king of the jobbers. Yep. <laughs> We're wrestling on main event. Yep. So uh, has anyone fall, fell as far as Bobby Roode has? Um, no. I don't think so. Like, I mean, we've seen Finn in some bad stuff, but... He's always been on the main in the mid card yeah uh technically i mean what happened no, with bobby Roode and no, dolph ziggler nobody's I mean, nobody's dropped this quickly yeah um yeah, when did he come up last year before mania okay. mm, it was this year it was this year mm-hmm. oh yeah really it wasn't it wasn't like the post mania call-ups yeah oh like, no because he was in that four-way for the u.s title on yeah mania, it was right? like wasn't it like right after it's survivor mo- series or right after royal rumble this year yeah yeah it was Am a I weird right? time i don't remember because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna look this up. That, it, but yeah, nobody has has had this problem that Bobby Roode has had. Paul, he wasn't smiling this week though. No. <laughs> um, but so, I mean, oh, maybe it was after Survivor, uh, after SummerSlam last year. Oh, was it? Um, this one is, it says August 20th, 2017, Mm -hmm. and it says the rumor is he's going to get called up. So I think this is the day of SummerSlam last year. Yeah. Um, so I guess he came out right after that. All right. So we'll we'll say a little less than a year. Are you still haven't done the update yet? No. Pick a time. There you go. But I feel like at no point in time, or at least since the current brand split that raw and smackdown have been good at the same time no no it keeps on going back and forth mm-hmm. it started with smackdown being good and then raw and now smackdown again yep um i don't understand why but yeah it i guess it is what it is yeah and i mean like i said you can't use the whole arguing two hours versus three hours thing because there was a point where, where raw, raw was, was the superior yeah. show mm-hmm. yeah but whatever yeah what are you gonna do um I thought SmackDown was decent. Uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. I, I must say I'm a little disappointed with them mm-hmm. because of the way they... Pulled, I mean, I, I'll did, admit did I was thing. closing my eyes for... Oh, no, no, I'm I not was, saying that the show was, is bad in any no, way. No, 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 no. I was... I woke to uh, crying babies. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was that was weird. Because um, I, I look at... I see the uh, crowd. They're kind of just like looking at the screen and then looking back at Daniel Bryan. Like, how am I supposed to react to this? Yep. Nobody likes crying babies. It's true. Uh, but yeah, something had happened during the show, and I didn't like the way they did it. But we'll get to that when we get to that. All right. So Carmella's opening promo, very good. See, I have to give her credit. It was great. But the thing is, and they've done it before with Alexa Bliss, mm-hmm. that's how they really feel. Which makes how they act on a regular basis even more True. impressive. Yeah. Because that was legitimate feeling. Oh, absolutely. Um, because I think Jim Ross was the one that said that she was terrible in her role or some, whatever. He, I think he downplayed her yeah, completely. She's really good. And the fact that she can act the way she does on a regular basis mm. and then... Because I was like waiting for it to turn and it just nope, kept going not, not and all. going mm-hmm. and going. And she, I was like, kept, she kept I was it like, the wow, entire this time. Is, this is pretty good. I got to give you credit here. Yeah, so that was great um obviously it was gonna happen where she ended up oh attacking well yeah because ellsworth's music played Mm -hmm. and becky went what yep and she got attacked from behind Mm -hmm. and then charlotte came out for the save so she's back from booby surgery yes she is back from (laughs) booby surgery um but yeah she chases off carmella so the two best friends are uh they helped each other out basically and then we'll talk about this all first we'll get this out of the way okay 
So backstage, I guess yeah, Carmella was complaining, complaining about Charlotte getting involved to Paige, and that was a good back and forth too, mm -hmm. because Carmella's like, "Well, I got something you'll never ever be again." She holds up the championship, she's like, "Ooh, yeah." And then that's when Paige got pissed off. Said, "All right, yep." And then she puts her in a match against Charlotte later on tonight, mm -hmm. and if Charlotte wins, she'll be added to the title match uh, for SummerSlam. Yeah, and it would make it a triple threat. Mm -hmm. Um, um, then we obviously had that match. Yes. Charlotte won. Mm-hmm. Uh, Although Car there was points in time where it looked like yeah. Carmella could pull it off. She definitely has improved. Um, this is what I didn't yeah, like. Yeah, all right, and I'm going to agree with you here. So, obviously, now Charlotte is added to the women's title mm -hmm. match. Triple it's a threat triple match. threat. I'm guessing they didn't have enough faith in Becky Lynch versus Carmella, so they had to add a third person to it. Uh, I don't think that's why. I think they just wanted Charlotte in the match if she was going to be available. I guess there's, that's that's what I don't like as well. is the fact that they could have very easily had Becky come out and cost Charlotte the match to prevent the right. triple threat. Right, and she was just saying, you know, I was looking out for myself. Yes, that's it. and this way, Carmella looks somewhat strong going into the yeah to SummerSlam, so it's a little more legitimate. You have the champion take two losses in a row. Yes, against both of yeah, her opponents. Which it's st I still hate that WWE does this, where uh -huh. you got to beat the champion to get a title match. If if you have the the one on one, that a you set up Becky's next feud when she wins. Right. You have it against Charlotte because you have the two of them going against yeah. each other. That gives you a match going into Evolution, which, right, which I know isn't I, the I next thing. I think what they're probably going to end up doing is, well, I, I still think Becky should walk out the champion. Yes. She pins Carmella, then Charlotte's like, you know, you didn't beat you me. didn't beat me, right? Yeah. So that which leads is fine. to them. But they definitely because earlier on the night Becky had um, expressed concern because mm -hmm. Renee had interviewed her yes. asking if you know who she was rooting for in this match if she, she was going to root against her best friend or not she said she didn't want her to win because that hurts her odds right that's that was it. it yeah um her so, odds drastically go down yeah unfortunately Carmella knows yes <laughs> unfortunately during the match they had um they shown becky watching the match from the back wearing her regular clothes so i'm like i guess they're not going to do very it. concerned look they definitely should have it's a shame that they didn't yeah that would have increased the longevity of a potential feud moving forward because you're technically starting it here instead of waiting till later on right um also that would add another element to the build of carmella versus becky without it spoiling anything mm -hmm. that's fair because it's gonna now it's gonna be the three of them going back and forth as opposed to well, that will probably them. be the blow off at whatever pay per views in September. Hell in a cell. Yeah, is it hell? Yeah, okay. And then that'll lead to just Charlotte Becky. And yeah. So maybe just regular competition. I don't know if there's going to be any. I don't heel think turn. there's going to be. Oh, when it evolution? No, wherever oh, it could be. Then. I think. I think we haven't we gotten could, Becky as a heel. I was going to say roster. I think we could actually have Becky as a heel. Yeah. I think that that's what's going to happen over the course of this next mm -hmm. or the next few weeks, is that Becky's going to be mad, not not yeah, that yeah. Charlotte did anything wrong technically, but this is going to be. Or it's, maybe Charlotte does pick up. Well, at SummerSlam, and you kind of have the whole Shinsuke AJ thing. That would work as well. Yeah, it will, minus the low blows. Um, I guess, I guess they could do it. It's not going to do as much. But. True. Anyway. I, that's what I was thinking a little disappointed. No, yeah. Whatever. Um, but you know what? They're drawing interest in it, so it's true. That's... And you know, it helps Carmella just being involved, even yeah, if she is even, losing. Yeah. Well, I was uh, what I was joking is saying next week it's probably going to be Oscar versus Carmella, and Carmella's going to take another loss, and it's going to be a fatal four way. See that at that point, it'd be a little too busy. Yeah. No, in, I know, but I'm, I'm just saying it's WWE. If if they're gonna have Oscar wrestle. I would rather her uh, rather see her team with Naomi and take on uh, mm. Absolution. Yeah, that and put it on the pre-show. Yeah, I, I would. That would be the like the best something. Yeah, option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because just shoehorning her into something it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Or if James Ellsworth was still around, have her fight him at that's fair SummerSlam. That'd be okay as well. That's fair. I know that's not really a match that a lot of people like seeing. <sighs> 
be terrible. But for whatever reason, that match and the match that uh, Becky had with him yeah. weren't very well received. No. Even though they weren't bad by any sense. Well. They were, like, stilted because yeah. they needed to be, but obviously, still. Because, um, A, James Althor is not a good wrestler, <laughs> and, B, they wanted to protect them as much as possible. But. He is an entertaining guy, though. That's true. Uh, so we finally got to see the return of the bar. Yeah, they're After still alive. Being off TV for uh, at least a month. Yeah, probably Possibly more than two. that. Um, they face the Usos. The winner of this match faces the New Day. Yes, next week, right? The New Day was on comedy. Oh, Castle that was fantastic! Day. They had their own announce table. Mm-hmm. It was orange, and they were kind of going back and forth between the regular announcers and the New Day. Mm-hmm. I wish we got to see the New Day just commentating the whole match. Yeah, that would be it better. was ridiculous. And the, it was fantastic. Uh, the New Day were going nuts at the end when it looked like the Usos were going to win. Mm-hmm. Putting um, over both teams as well. Oh yeah, well they kept on talking about how good athletes Sheamus and Cesaro were, and how. Uh, Cesaro is a multi-time tag champion mm-hmm. and former uh, United States champion, and Sheamus has won pretty much every Everything. title in, yeah. the, in the company yep. and stuff like that. And obviously, they're friendly with the Usos, mm-hmm. so they're talking good about them. Yep. And they were also mentioning the fact that the Usos have never been on the main card of SummerSlam. They did, yeah. A which shade is shade from WWE. Nah, Not really, I was going to say, it wasn't the New Day. No, no. It was no. them yeah. being told to say that, basically. Yeah um because if they were gonna win it wouldn't be as bad but since they did lose because i don't know the as we predicted last week yes james and cesaro pick up the win mm-hmm. um the usos go for the double frog splash yep. cesaro comes in hits an uppercut mm-hmm. um, one of them yeah and then Seamus gets his knees up, up. On, knees up on the other and then rolls them up yep. and that was that and then the bar is moving on yep the new day and the bar stood face to face in the ring yep mm-hmm. so uh like i said we predicted that it oh, should yeah. be a good match mm-hmm. kind of uh, a way to end the feud that they started a few weeks months ago yep when uh the bar went over to smackdown yep. so so it's good stuff mm-hmm. uh then we have uh, samoa joe uh, insulting aj's family or something it's just out there sweating man yeah i was boring i did not care for this i didn't think it was bad but it just didn't seem like it didn't make the a sense. context was needed because nothing happened previously that would indicate that this would be anything you know yeah. i mean it was just yeah because uh basically it just said that aj cared more about the title than his family yeah but there's really been no indication of that because well, AJ, I mean, aj's a face we brought up some stuff but 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 nothing like, he's saying, oh, he's on the road all the time. It's like, that's the life of a wrestler. <laughs> like, you do the same thing, guy. I, I guess, yeah. But, you know, that's us interpreting the promo and... I guess? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I... Their feud was very good back in CNA. So. Samoa Joe, his promos are better if it's threatening mm. instead of trying to point out things. I guess, yeah. It feels more natural. I don't. That's just my mm-hmm. my opinion. Well, he's not going to go to AJ's home and attack his wife. Why not? <laughs> Randy Orton's done it. I guess that's true. It's Triple H. Yeah, that's fair. So anyway, not now. It's Speaking not of Randy Orton, this crazy bastard. Yeah. So uh, Jeff Hardy comes so out. If Jeff is, I guess hurt. Why the hell is he taking so many? He's bucks? not hurt. Obviously, he's not hurt. He, he, I don't know. He's Something's not, going on. No, this is. You know what they might be doing? Hmm. They might be trying to build up Randy Orton and not give him another title run. That's possible. I've been waiting to see an Orton versus AJ feud with heel Orton. No, I was going to say the proper way, yes, not yeah, the other no, way. We don't want to see two faces. Well, no, because it was AJ was the heel the first time. Oh, yeah. did they? Would oh, they have one match? They had a something? few matches. Yeah. Oh, did they? Yeah. Well, they, they're doing it on the house circuit because I saw oh, it at okay. the Madison Square Garden show. That may- Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but Yes, the proper way. Yes um so but yeah basically jeff calls out orton orton comes out and then shinsuke attacks jeff from behind mm-hmm. yeah. i would imagine we're gonna see a triple threat match for the u.s title at yeah, SummerSlam. i guess because orton and shinsuke were kind of letting each other beat up jeff because mm-hmm. at this point in time and, and the two of them obviously don't trust each other no. which is which is good it's because a snake man he's not meant to there's be a trusted. there's a lot of times where the heels trust lit, each other yeah they yeah they foolishly just don't mm-hmm. think about the other one turning on them, True. which is dumb because technically speaking, they shouldn't have any alliances with anybody. Um, so that 
being said, it should it would make sense that this is going to be a triple threat match just based off the fact that it's now two weeks away. Right. And there has been no indication of any match. other kind of feud nope. for Shinsuke. Mm-hmm. So that it, it's got to be what, even yeah. if they haven't stated it yet, they'll probably establish something next yeah, week. Yeah, because Jeff had his rematch, right, yes. on the SmackDown after mm-hmm. Extreme And Rules. that's when Randy Orton came, came out and attacked, attacked him again. Yeah. So I'm sure Paige could do, you know, they'll figure some way out mm-hmm. to do it. But, so. Yeah. That, that would be my guess. Mm-hmm. Um, he got, oh yeah, Jeff got destroyed. Oh yeah, yeah, he just that. got his ass beat, and then he got what water dumped on him, and Randy was scrubbing off his face paint. Oh, that's what I, I, I think so. I don't know. I saw I, a clip of it online. I was like, I didn't see I, that. I was gonna say I don't remember seeing that, but anyway. Uh, um, and then we have Lana versus Selena Vega. I wasn't expecting Selena to be wrestling this early yeah. in singles matches at no well, at least on the main roster. I think she wrestled in NXT. She, she did. She wrestled. They had a tag match with oh, yeah, uh, Almas right. and uh, her against uh, Gargano, Gargano and, and um, Candice. Yes. Yeah. So. Yes, yes. But that was also a mixed tag match, so she didn't need to do all that much work. Just because you brought them up, somebody made a joke. They were like, I bet even Ciampa could get a good crowd reaction against Roman. I was like, yeah, Definitely. I would imagine so. Yeah. Definitely. People hate Although, him just because he's meant to be hated. That's it. Yeah. I was going to say, he does get some really... Well, I don't know. I haven't really been keeping up with NXT. I haven't seen anything since. Uh, I mean, if I follow match, it, but... I read everything. Oh, yeah. yeah I have an idea of what's going I on. I, I just don't actually should watch, watch it. it. But I got too much other wrestling to watch. Yeah. So, uh, anyway... The match wasn't too bad. It was all right. I couldn't really get for, into for it. A lot, I am not for a Lana, Lana match, fan. It was pretty good. Just she's she's still very green. Yeah, I, I just I don't care for the character or anything. I, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I like just Lana. My person. Yeah, exactly. I know a lot of people do, but I just can't get behind it. Yeah. Um, but this furthered the whole Rusev Lana. For Aiden some English. reason, Aiden English decided to come on out, stick his nose where it didn't belong. Right, because uh, Andrade was out there yeah. with Zelina, but nobody was ringside with Lana. Yeah, they said that Rusev or Lana was allowing Rusev to have his space, mm. so she let him stay back there. Even though, had this feud not happened, Lana still would have been out there by herself because she Rusev never comes out with her. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, basically... Aiden. In English comes out, like you said. Yep. Um, cost Lana the match for literally no reason. Well, yeah, because Lana kept going up to the top rope, and mm-hmm. that's when Andrade got on the apron. This happened twice, mm-hmm. and then that's when Aiden English came out. I guess Lana went back up and got distracted. No, Lana was up. Um, Andrade went up, too. Mm-hmm. Aiden pulled him oh, down. Okay. Lana, for no reason, jumps Just down down and looks outside. That's when Selena comes from behind and, and rolls her up. up. Yeah. So Lana literally didn't need to do that, and she would have been fine. Yeah. So that confused me. I didn't really get it, but whatever. We only had three matches on SmackDown? Yeah, it was not a very, like, full show. Huh. Lana versus Vega had a commercial. Oh, yeah, it did, because that had the picture-in-picture picture yeah. and then the commercial. Because that's generally what happens. When they have the picture-in-picture, picture, I kind of lose interest Control? in it yeah because yeah. i'm like stupid commercials mm-hmm. yeah ah whatever yep uh and then up next we have daniel bryan mm-hmm. trying to further his feud with the miz yep the miz refuses to come out because he's busy on the set of miz and mrs which obviously isn't true it's i it got really good ratings it, both over a million it's really good i didn't watch the second episode it's i watched the first good. one but yeah it was, what I, it's funny because it was on before smackdown the first one yeah yeah i, I did see that when yeah. i turned over yeah. to it and i was like yeah. Um, but yeah, both episodes are good. Yeah, I um, had to catch it on demand. It was not on Hulu. Yeah, I saw mm-hmm. that. So, but yeah, they're very entertaining. Um, I obviously though the show has been wrapped for a while because it took place at the beginning of the year. Um, but that's Bruce neither here nor pregnant. there. <laughs> um, and uh, so yeah, but yeah, this, this basically led to a challenge mm-hmm. um, from Daniel Bryan to the Miz at SummerSlam. Yeah, and nothing accepted. I, Miz just kind of played pictures of the babies crying yeah, yeah it's true yeah, yeah and then uh we also already talked about the, the uh, main event yep with charlotte meeting carmella mm-hmm. um well, i guess we can make mention of it but they did make a cruiserweight title match for SummerSlam: cedric yeah. alexander and Chris Gulak. so i'm assuming that that's been an ongoing thing i think so 
Um, Drew Gulak is still fantastic. I haven't seen him in a while, but he is still one yeah. of the most entertaining cruiserweights. Mm-hmm. And then Cedric is probably the best, most athletic, or between him and Ali, yeah. I would imagine. Well, you got Buddy Murphy now. You got, you yeah, know. but I don't know I, if he's as athletic as the other guys. So, either way, not important. Yeah, again, uh, another show I would really like to watch, but there's an extra hour that... I don't want to spend watching wrestling. Like as bad as that sounds. To be fair, it's not really an hour. It's like forty, 40 minutes. minutes hour, whatever. So. Anyway. Whatever, man. Yeah. So. I mean, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mm-hmm. mean, not a very uh, informationally, or not like a, not a whole lot of going on this week. No. Do we, we? The only thing we got was the added person to the women's match, the furthering of the tag. Uh, tournament t- yeah tag tournament nothing really happened on raw that was evident towards SummerSlam. no because the only thing yeah it no. was all around brock and roman that yeah. was it and then with um <clears throat> with the match between uh, ronda and fox that's yeah it. yeah so but whatever yep 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 it is what it is that's yeah that's the only problem with them booking matches so early mm-hmm. and then not building a proper story because generally they're matches we've seen already mm-hmm. so yeah it's, it's dull but yeah whatever so uh yeah that was uh our review yes if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye